back again. It's Tuesday. Got another one of my wife's lovely coffee cups. Just got the kids off to school. I'm, I'm a few minutes late because I was letting my computer charge for a few minutes before I started. Oh, look, there's my co-host. Hello, co-host. You want to say hi to the people? Say hi. Reach that paw out there. Good morning. How's everybody doing? It's kind of chilly this morning. It's supposed to get warm this afternoon, I think. I don't know. I actually haven't watched the weather today, so I actually don't know. But it's Oklahoma, so it's always pretty warm. How are you guys doing this morning out there in the internet world? Morning, Christy. Morning, Douglas from Indiana. Suzanne said hi to my kitty. Yeah, she always attacks me in the morning. She's my co-host. Look. You say hi to the people? No? Okay. Uh, what's up from Oklahoma? Going to be 60 in Kansas. Hello, Paula. Oh, man. Why is that so big on me? Let me, if I move this over this way a little bit. No. If I move this. Try to give y'all some more room to see stuff. Morning, Mary, over on the YouTube channel. Morning, Candy. How you doing this morning? Hope everybody's having a good day so far. Whether you're just getting up, getting started, or whether you've been up for a while like me. Of course, I always tell you guys I love going live with you guys because it helps get me focused. Am I going to be doing any shows around Indiana? Possibly. Possibly. Morning, Steve Akins. Got some blue dream this morning. And this coffee is uh, the McDonald's medium blend but at home. Heater core just blew. That's a terrible, terrible thing. Not a good way to start the morning at all. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. So everybody who's just getting here, here's what I need you to do. I need you to smack that like button like the remote control batteries aren't working. Why wow, you have a St. Bernard? Suzanne said heading to the vet for my St. Bernard. That's super cool. Those are big old doggies. Morning, Gene. Morning, Bobby. I'm going to do some graphic design today. Um, what else am I going to do? Uh, I might have my drummer over. We're going to try to set up this live stream in here so that we can uh, stream some music to you guys from in here. Morning, Teresa. Morning, Scrap. You guys, make sure you guys hit hit that link and go follow Scrap. Posts hilarious videos, makes good music. Been doing this stuff for a long time. If I haven't tried it, Net, I need to try Project 4156. I I have not tried it yet. Is it coffee? Morning, Chloe. How y'all doing this morning? Thank you for everybody liking. Thank you for everybody who shares the stream. Thank you for everybody who stops by and comments. I appreciate all you guys. Like I said, talking to y'all helps me focus my day. So today I'm about to start getting on top of my sponsors, uh, sponsorship stuff. I have somebody coming by at noon. I'm working on a website with them. Hey, make sure they're still coming by. Yeah, and then I got to get started getting this music out. There's so much music for you guys to see. <laughs> Morning, Teresa. Morning, Jared Blake. You guys make sure you click on him. Go follow his page, Blake's Army. He's awesome. My co-host came back, but y'all couldn't see her. She ran off. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Douglas. I hope everybody has a good morning out there this morning. Uh, I still got. I guess I haven't done my workout yet. So when I get off here, I'm gonna work out. 
I was running late getting up this morning a little bit. What time you guys wake up out there? What's the average wake up time for y'all? Were y'all getting up at like 7, 8, 4.30 like me? What y'all doing? Morning, Stacia. For sure, Bubba. For sure. Thank you, Dwayne, for sharing the stream. Good morning. Gene said 5 a.m. Thank you, Priscilla. Usually 5.30, Paula said. Steve Aiken said, I've been out of work. Oh my gosh, you had a stroke. Get up at six. Trish said three. Ah, right, you got me beat even. I mean, I wake up at three a lot. Not on purpose though. <laughs> I just be waking up early. I can't never sleep. Depends on when the little demons wake up, Stacia said. That makes sense too. My last one's my first one goes to school at like 710. Then my middle schooler goes at like 8 and then the or like 745 and then the other ones go at 820. Oh, my co-host passing back through. What up, co-host? Six every morning. Mary Baker said, rolling down the internet and internet. <laughs> Rolling down the interstate by seven. Camo. Morning, Camo. Steve34 over on the YouTube channel. Appreciate everybody who stops in on the YouTube channel. Yesterday, I had a Twitch viewer. That was cool. What you doing back there? Normally, six stations said... Man, I'm a I'm a morning person and my wife is not a morning person. She's a she's a night owl and I'm a morning person. That's why you guys don't ever see her in the mornings. What's up? Thankfully I got my cat to keep me company. Y'all got animals? Who's got cats? Leah, you got cats? Morning, Darlene. Lake of the Ozarks. How beautiful is it up there today? Steve has a cat that looks like my black cat. You guys like black cats? We have three cats, but this one's this one's mine, I guess. She chose me. I didn't really choose her. It's kind of how cats do it, right? Like cats kind of do their own thing. They're the one animal that we didn't really domesticate. <laughs> Paula said two German shepherds. No pets for Trish. Jared gets out of bed whenever he wakes up. Four dogs, one cat, 18 fish. That's a lot. <laughs> How many tanks you got? Is that one tank? Camo Steve over on the YouTube channel. Got a cat and a Rottweiler. Morning, Cheyenne. How you doing this morning? Oh, so every, most people are animal people on here, huh? Six chickens, four rabbits, and yes, one tank on the 18 fish. I must be a big tank. I, I've had fish tanks for a long time. I haven't, I haven't had one since we've moved into this new house. Uh, but I've had various saltwater aquariums and freshwater aquariums. I've had turtle aquariums. I've had tadpole tanks. I've had koi ponds I've dug out in the backyard. I've done tons of shit. I, I really enjoy aquatic life. What up, Canna Ross? Morning. You guys, make sure you go follow Canna Ross. I appreciate everybody who always stops through, says hi. If you guys are just getting here, how we're doing it today, I need you guys to smack that like button like the remote control batteries aren't working. Oh, cat's back. <laughs> she's funny because she's, she's only really interested because I'm on, on live stream or something. It's like she knows. What's up? Morning, Lana. 
Thank you for liking the stream. Appreciate everybody's support this morning. Morning, Dawn. Yeah, so I'm going to try Monday through Friday. Uh, I'm going to try to live stream. And then me and my drummer are going to start trying to do a musical show in the afternoons where you guys can kind of see us practice and see where I'm going to do some covers. I got some country songs that I'm going to be covering this year and some different things. Uh, so we're going to try to do that so you guys can check out how things okay cat stop just trying to knock the microphone over so you guys can see how things work on on our end as far as the creative side of things and then i'm trying to do thirsty thursdays starting this thursday <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I'm trying to do it all year i'm gonna try to have guests on i'm gonna try to make it as successful as it was last year uh, Thirsty Thursdays was great. I had lots of my homeboys on. Lots of cool guests came through. Uh, Going to try to have more on this year. So Thursday nights, make sure you guys are joining us here. It's going to be a great time. Uh, like I said, going to try to have a lot of my people on that I haven't haven't had on yet. People like Big Murph and Catfish Cooley. Uh, Lots of my people, uh, Simple Man, who else I'm going to try to get on here? I'm going to try to have, I'm going to try to have a new artist every week. Like I'm going to reach out <clears throat> and try to start getting people locked in so that I'll have, I'll be able to make, uh, Facebook advertisements for the, for the events. So you guys will know exactly who's coming on and when. I wish I could get Jelly Roll. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jelly's probably too busy. Sheldon, good morning. Yes, I could get Jake Lacoste. That's my buddy. I love Jake. Dude, he puts on a hell of a live show. Like, for sure, one of the best live shows. Yeah, I guess it maybe she must like the Blue Dream or something. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she's walking around. Move your butt. Nobody wants to see all that. <sighs> well, I will be trying to come to Missouri soon. I don't know exactly when. But since you mentioned Jake, I will be in Wisconsin this year. Uh, I can't tell you guys any more than that, but I guarantee you I will be in Wisconsin again this year. Uh, Wisconsin was absolutely lovely. I'll be back in Missouri this year. Missouri was lovely. I've already got dates booking for Colorado, Utah, North Carolina, Wisconsin. I'll be in Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, of course, you know, all the close states. Uh, yes, hopefully I will be back at Nasty Glass. Shout out to my guy, Danny. Danny took care of me. Uh, he's booked me for two shows. Definitely has taken care of me both times. Uh, one time he even got me, I set up the whole sound system and ran the whole show. We had a great time. Uh, we partied the whole weekend in the woods. Like, it was absolutely a great time. So I would love to come back to Missouri. Ohio, I will probably be back to again this year. Shout out to my man Rich Regal for uh, bringing me up to Ohio, making that happen. He definitely, definitely has hooked it up. He's amazing. Uh, he just performed in Indianapolis with Justin Time and Jesse and Joe and a whole host of other people. Tyler, uh, a lot of people. Yvonne, um, me and OT need a song together. Yeah. Uh, I would love to work with overtime, but I don't really ask for things. You know how, you know, it's all about business to me. Good morning, Joanne. Joanne is my massage therapist, and I will be seeing her tomorrow to get my monthly massage this time i'm getting a deep tissue massage and i feel like i need it because my back has been messed up for the last like week or so i took had to take like a week off of everything because i'd hurt my hurt my back so i wasn't even working out or anything but i've been back working out for the last week or so uh like i said as soon as i get off here i'm gonna do my workout i helped build a i have a big building in the back of my property that i helped clean up this weekend for my son uh, and he bought a weight bench a squat rack we moved it in there 
Yes, Joanne, I have been stretching. I'm going to do my yoga as soon as I get off here. Uh, and so, yeah, so we moved all the weights out there. So I'm going to start weight training out there. Uh, I do my yoga. I guys, you guys want to do yoga with me someday? Maybe I'll go live and do yoga. I don't know if you guys want to watch me do yoga. I'm pretty good at it. I've been doing yoga for a long time. I don't know all the, uh, <laughs> yes, Yvonne, once you hit 40, that's what happened. So I started doing yoga about two years ago uh, when I hurt my back. And I was just looking up for like exercises for the lower back. And a lot of them were Pilates and yoga stuff. And I was like, man, all right, darling, have a good day. Hey to the fam from Melanie. I will tell them. So I was, I, my back was hurting, right? But I still wanted to work out. And so I started doing these like Pilates and yoga videos. And even though it was like, it's all for girls or whatever, like a lot of it is really hard. Like, it's really hard. Having stabilizer muscles that keep your balance is really hard. You know, lots of, like, planking exercises and, and lots of tough stretches and things like that. And I found them to be very, very effective for helping my lower back some. Uh, and so that got me into doing yoga and doing these sorts of exercises. Now, of course, I'm a weight junkie. You know, I, I, work, I used to work at a gym. Uh, I used to do bodybuilding stuff. You know, I did five years in prison where I did 1,000 push-ups a day literally for five years straight. But I and, I and I still love that type of heavy lifting and hard working out. But I found that as I get older, man, I'm not trying to uh, I'm not trying to hurt myself, nor am I trying to look like Brock Lesnar at this point. You know what I mean? Like I look okay, I feel okay. I just I want to maintain my health, my flexibility, my agility. I want to maintain these things as I get older. You know, so I'm 41, uh, not old, but. I've had a pretty rough life, I guess, you know, so I feel old in some ways. My body's been through some stuff. Does the camera keep moving in and out? I feel like the smoke and the lights are causing the background to to not try to focus on me. <laughs> but yeah, stretching I found is one of the most important things. Stretching and staying flexible and basically just, you know, using using all of your body every day. It's important. Walking is super important. I, I try to constantly encourage my wife to go on a 15-minute walk every day, but she won't do it. She doesn't like she doesn't like freaking walking. I don't know why. She says I walk too fast. She'll work out, but she doesn't like walking. She she will get on a uh, she'll get on a what is the thing a stair stepper. Like she rocked a stair stepper. She used to get on this one stair stepper at the YMCA in uh, in Andover, Kansas. And dude, she would, I, I couldn't even imagine, like, it would, I, it would be terrible. Yeah, <laughs> prison beds are super uncomfortable. Uh, 10 out of 10 would not recommend prison. Uh, do your best to not go there and to stay out of prison because it's extremely uncomfortable. And that's one of the reasons that, you know, I try to talk to these kids these days and try to give them a real straight shot at shit. And I'm not even saying that I'm perfect or that I couldn't go back to prison in the right situation or if if things went wrong and I had to protect my family or something, you know, but I know that on a day-to-day -day basis, man, I do my best to just, you know, keep my head down and, and work and, and grind. Life is, is, you've got plenty, plenty of time to work for yourself and, and not have to, I don't know, be a slave to the corporations and <clears throat> yeah, I said, and over Kansas. Um, but I learned that, uh, I don't know, I forgot where I was going with that. I had a, I had a point to it, but it, it trailed off because I was reading y'all's comments. <laughs> Everybody said, don't go to prison. Yeah, so that's the, that's the bottom line is I, you know, I want to do things a little different. I want to teach people that you can just work and, you know, you know selling dope isn't going to get you anywhere. You know, like there's no drug dealers that, that made it and didn't get in trouble. Paula, you were from Wichita. My wife's family all lives in Newton. Uh, and my wife grew up there in Wichita. She, well, she lived in New Jersey, and then she moved to Kansas. Steve said I did 13 and a half, bro. That's long stretch, man. Good for you for staying out and keeping your nose to the grindstone. Yo, Jake Lacoste is here. I was literally just talking about you. Somebody just tagged you. <laughs> Yeah, you guys make sure you go follow Jake Lacoste. 
got dope music. He's from up in Wisconsin. Uh, he puts on a hell of a live show, like amazing live show. Dude rocks the crowd, keeps the crowd going. Absolutely dope. Uh, hopefully I'll get to rock a show with him when I come back to Wisconsin this year. Uh, so you guys make sure you go follow him. He comes from the land of the ice and snow. Hey, thank you, brother. I love seeing where you've come to. Uh, Jake has been working with Burn County for a while now, and he's really stepped up as far as like what I feel like in terms of like video production, music production, and just like everything looks super duper polished and feels super duper polished. Like, I don't know how he's not on the radio, except that people don't like people like us on the radio, I guess, you know. <laughs> but I can say that about a lot of people. Like, I feel like my guy's long cut should be on the radio. Uh, I know a lot of people who are like, you know, they could be on the radio, like, better than some of this stuff like Florida Georgia Line and stuff that's out there. But, you know, whatever. They ain't trying to look at us because we're independent country rappers out in the middle of nowhere. It is what it is, though. We got you guys. We got the fans. And as long as y'all keep listening, we'll keep making music. Yeah, I mean, it's true, Sheldon. <laughs> but, you know, I, I've had hate since I started this stuff. Like, I blew up on hate. Hate doesn't bother me at all. I just roll with it. And uh, I keep making the music that I want to make. Uh, and I keep putting it out. Yo, Cat, what's up, bro? You still want to do the music thing this afternoon? Jake said, we got something better than nothing. Yeah, you're right. I, I mean, I, and I feel like you're like me, you've, you've, you've grinded and you've made your own success and you are not a coattail rider and you've just done your shit, bro. Like I've literally seen you post stories about getting booed on stage and shit, but you never stop. Someone says, start my own station. I wish Janet said, when's my song coming out with Nunrilla? I just hit Nunrilla up yesterday and, and told him he needs to send me a picture so I can get cover made so we can get that out. I told him I wanted to release it by the end of January. And uh, I know that he's just been moving and dealing with a lot of home things. And so I basically told him that if he wants the song, I'll just give it to him. Like, he can have it. He can have 100% of the money off of it. Like, I don't even care. Uh, like, anything, you know, it's a small gesture, but it's something maybe I can do to help. You know, if it makes a few hundred dollars for him or whatever, or thousands of dollars, I don't even care. Like, maybe it'll help, you know. So uh, it'll be coming out. And then he didn't say yes or no. I didn't. He hasn't responded back, really. But I, I just want to feel like it's a way I can offer to help, you know, so, and, and literally the song is, is called keep on marching, you know, and that's the point of the song is when times get tough, you got to keep on marching. When life gets rough, you got to keep on marching, you know, so <laughs> I can't wait to get that out. Shout out to all my guys from Outlaw Nation. All of them had a great 2022 and uh, I'm thinking 2023 is going to be even bigger for all five of them. Boy, I got to work on that camera thing. Are y'all not seeing that zooming in and out? Is that just me? <laughs> yeah, Outlaw Nation looking super, super, super dope. So. But yeah, so I guess uh, I guess I've kept you guys for just about long enough. I didn't realize it had already been 25 minutes. I don't try to keep you guys much longer than that in the mornings because I know y'all are busy. But I, I will be going live more and more. Paula said, want Joe to get you in. Yeah, I want I want Joe to get me in. <laughs> I want to make music with Joe at the Outlaw Nation studio. I told him that. He told me to come through, but then we have never talked because he's been busy. But I've been a fan of New Breed for a long time. I, I always tell people I didn't really know who Jesse Howard was until the last, like, maybe two years. But I've known who New Breed was for, like, ten years just because I thought he was a good rapper and he was in, a, in my lane. And I've checked out everybody, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, look at all that love for Outlaw Nation. Rise up. <clears throat> Those are my guys, man. I appreciate how real they've kept it in the music that they're making. Uh, staying real to themselves, staying real to the family. <clears throat> you know, so that's dope. Shout out to those guys. Good morning, Andrea out in Cali. Yee yee, she said over on the YouTube channel. I don't know where the studio is, or I would just stop by. Morning, Bubble Wiggles, over on their YouTube channel there. You guys, make sure you check out Bubble Wiggles. He's dope. Yeah, so how's everyone? What is today? Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, so like I said, I'm going to do, let me give you all a rundown again. 
I'm gonna uh, start working on my. I'm about to make an eight by eight banner. It's gonna have my sponsors' names on it. Probably gonna make two because I saw one yesterday that that I liked that somebody had made that was just little like checkered patterns. Uh, but yeah, but I'm not just gonna roll up at someone's house, guys. That's not how we work. I would flip out if someone just rolled up to my house. <laughs> Telling someone to come through doesn't mean just show up. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to make my sponsor banner today. And then I'm going to go out and start gathering up these sponsors. Start gathering up this money for the first half of the year. Uh, I'm going to do two sponsorships. And basically, it'll be six months at a time. Uh, you know, so. But yeah, um, I guess that's it. Country Cat said, waiting off Annie to come by and drop a package. Okay. Uh, well, just hit me up later, bro. What? What you meowing for? Y'all hear her? Meow? What? What happened? Timmy fall down the well? Hmm? Timmy fell down the well, I think. Did y'all hear her? <laughs> okay, let me drink this last drink of coffee with y'all. Let me move my cat because she was about to knock the mic over again. And then I will let y'all get on y'all's day, and I will see y'all later at a different time. Love you guys. I'll holler at y'all later.